deeper because then people respond to knowing that you're a person of your word. So it's almost like, you know, if someone else tries to come in, they want to check with you if it's all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, Pastor Duncan, you know such and such. I don't know them. They kind of fit. But they say they know you. I don't care. <laughs> if you don't see me with them, if I don't mention just the fact that me telling you that, nah. Because it's even in Gainesville, you know, research and service learning, all of these particular things, it's almost like, okay, we're just doing it only because. But then we don't bring nothing and we don't leave nothing. It's nothing sustainable. And and the community that's really been affected by oppression for so long, I mean, they get it. They understand. So the resistance comes as a result of that, you know, where... You get it. Yeah, yeah. And, and histor- man, historically, shh, man, I could, I could pull up some stuff that's happened that I could pull up some stuff. I've read some crazy stuff about this town. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's real. I got, I got, I got clippings. <laughs> I got I got newspaper clipping and archives that all around the country. Right. I was just reading some articles last night from like 1966 where there were bombings here in Gainesville and the bombings were so and I got a picture of bo- a bomb a bomb was um um uh exploded on University Avenue. And some of the white businesses were bombed. It was so bad that the National Guard had to come into Gainesville. Oh yeah, it was you. Oh man, yeah. But well, you ain't here about because a lot of this stuff is like you know you got to go deep into the archives. I found some stuff. You know, on the University of Florida campus. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, I got some stuff. I got some stuff, and and all of it was connected, re- related because during that time, Reverend Wright, who was a civil rights leader, he marched with MLK. He was in Saint Augustine, and it was just so bad because they started a revolution in Saint Augustine, and then when MLK left and he got assassinated. Then the clan was like, nah, we're gonna get all y'all up here out of here. And he ran because his, his life was threatening and he had, you know, kids and you know, so they came here and it just so happened that the church was looking for a pastor. And so they invited him to come and be the guest speaker. But he didn't come because he wanted to be a civil rights leader in Gainesville. He was coming to get away from it. It was like, I ain't trying to deal with that no more. Right. But to his surprise, you know. The church ended up, you know, hiring him as pastor. And then all of the what was going on in Gainesville, he got involved. Just one of those things, like, I just can't sit back and be silent because, like, you know, everybody knows. And I just, it's just in me. So I just can't sit here and know all the things that's going on. So he welcomed this place as a place where people could meet. And the amazing thing about it is, is that the movement during that time was so, for, for upstate, you had more of a the Black Panther, that whole militant movement. So a lot of those black leaders was like, listen, we're doing this for black people. And so there was um, there, there was a guy by the name of Graves um, who was this uh, well-known um, black leader and um, they wanted him to come to Gainesville. But it was said that, you know, that what he found out was in Gainesville that the local groups were diverse, right? And so he was like, I'm not coming to Gainesville to speak to no mixed congregation of people or mixed people. I'm coming to speak to the black people. And then Reverend Wright said, well, if he's not coming, you know, to speak to this group of people who are our allies, who are much a part of this fight, then we don't want them to come because that ain't godly. So we can't say we just want a movement and you just want you to come and you go speak to black people. We can't do that because, I mean, you know, we got University of Florida professors who were going to jail, you know what I mean? They was they were literally standing up. You had students that were standing up. So why would he say no, you know, they can't, they're not allowed to be a part of this when it was just kind of like one community. So, Can you go back 